Welcome back to Let's Play Death Mark. First time saying that, then. Yeah, used to in time. Okay. I will have the text return. Three, two, one, go. Yes, the city. As you wish, Lord Yoshiki. I should have ended the previous part on that, in the ultimate cliffhanger. It's like, and I shall tell you, the room is of the honey eater. Oh, <laughs> Gotta say, the uh, rumors, chapter, kind of introduction in the sequels don't feel as impactful as the ones in this one. Oh, what did you hear? About that ghost fall, the school in H City I talked about? I think I mentioned in Sino to that play. Like, uh, or maybe it was in one of my other uh, plays on the main channel. But the H City is, uh. Whatever is the, uh. City that Axis Games is based in. The ones that made this game. I forget what it was. Sounds like Hanahiko's back. I heard that he can appear in a, in a school mirror. Last or something. Am I fitting? You tell him no, you'll be fine, but say yes. Give me the red stuff then. And then he just disappears. Well, that's not all. Nihiko hates adults, you know. I heard that if a person in the ass is at him, they die. I'll just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. And next to the corpse, it's a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood! Spooky. <laughs> Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another, assumptions and errors in extent. But they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating Hanahiko at HR Mix. It's gotta be some sort of thing. I should ask her more about it. Why were you at HR Elementary? I think dreams are right about the occult, so I'd love to see it. I found this article in a magazine mentioning how Nahiko was seen there. I think that place would be easier to sneak in than a rank school. Since we closed down. What should I ask and ask? It's like, it doesn't matter what order, you gotta ask for all three things. It's not Nahiko there. I don't think so. But I can't really say for sure. I went to the mirror, but it shiver suddenly ran up down my spine. I got spooked to that. Should I ask next? When did you notice the mark? I noticed it later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly on my thigh. It didn't surprise me. I realized immediately that I had to there be uh, well, Professor Kuzo right there. Think I have a handle on what happens? No way to know for sure about the books. There's no denying she had the mark after returning home from the HR. And maybe. She got the uh, glances down in his left hand. Mine might be from Hanahiko too. I noticed it after I got home from T Elementary. That ghost was seen a lot of uh, at a lot of schools in Hate City. Maybe he's remembered something. I better ask him some questions too, T Elementary. I go to school there. You've probably heard of it since it's a top ranked elementary in Hate City. What should I ask next? Uh, when was that? Maybe around sunset. I was heading home until I realized I forgot something and turned back. Did she see Hanigo? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. Oh, but I think I passed the mirror. I went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows anymore. The stories are pretty similar to the Hanigo rumors. Can't just be a coincidence. You must investigate the places where Hanigo appeared, for their sake as well as yours. It's all well and good, but what exactly am I investigating? Death and life coexisting. If the mark originated there, then a way to erase it will also be 
must find it. Find the key you need to break the marks. That is the only way to escape. And all of a sudden, a huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. Seems that Hanahiko appeared at two schools. Where will you investigate? You know, the always answer is H. L. Mandry. But if you choose T. L. Mandry, I tried it once to see what happens, because, like, maybe you get to go to T. L. Mandry, too. No. They'll point out that's a stupid idea, because, you know, it's a school that, you know, is still in use. H. L. Mandry is not. So, H. L. Mandry. Yeah, that's probably wise. They'd arrest you on the spot if you try to sneak into a main school. And that's exactly why, even if you pick T Elementary, it's like, nah, that's a bad idea. H Elementary sounds like the proper location. I mean, when you were seeing the rumors of Harahiko, you can clearly see the abandoned school in the background. Middle aged man who can't recall his name, let alone a dressing job. I have no excuse in buying a course. Wanna get going then? Let's do this. Coming too. Uh, of course. I haven't given up on seeing Hanahiko yet. She grins at me. Is she really strong or is this blind optimism? Maybe leaning more towards the latter. I'm going to. Hey, not you too. Seriously. My life's on the line here. I don't want the reason I died to be because you messed something up. That's pretty bold. Thing you're cute, but to bring kids along with me is. I understand your hesitation, but the mark does not discriminate, seeing the lives of children and adults. They wish to fight their fate, and you should have won it. I suppose human logic doesn't fly when dealing with supernatural. We'll need to prepare ourselves for the worst if we're going to survive. Please take only one mark bearer with you, Al. A large group will increase the odds of you being deceived and detected by the Also ask that you not waste your time dawdling while it's on the way. It is possible we, possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. Selecting a partner. First select a mark bearer. Do this in the party menu. Oh yeah, hey mister. And if you think it'd be a good idea to take notes on what Mary's told us? Mary's getting worse all the time and you don't want to forget anything. I don't know when I'll lose my memory again. I'll write down all the information I get and just keep it in my file. Something in it might just save our lives. New info is out of the spirit file. Spirit file. Important info on spirits will be added to the spirit file. Check it from the your bag. Consult if you need help. Saving and loading. Save at the mansion or haunts. Return to the title screen from the bag to load. It's kind of convoluted, really, isn't it? You think, oh yeah, you know, just save at any time. Now, I feel like, you know, Moa Watanabe is the one to go because it makes the most sense. It feels like Sakasa Yoshida here is kind of like... I don't know, he just feels like he's just kind of tacked on. Obviously. One of the few voice acting when you select the character. Ah, uh, that's nice. So, this was apparently going to have more RPG elements, and that's why you see power intelligence, spirit power and dexterity and stuff. So our protagonist is kind of well-rounded here. You've got more spirit power, but less of everything else. I forget what... what it's, yeah, you've got a ladder opener. So we're going to take from my hobby and pull his face and engrave on my head. Ladies and sharp, but it can handle soft items. So interestingly enough, in the sequel, you have, you know, a spirit file as well, but the protagonist of that game, he's not much for, you know, writing down stuff, so he just writes down the bare minimum. Well, you know, I guess it makes sense, because the protagonist of this game's got amnesia, so they want to write out as much detail as possible. Strange rumors in Hate City say those who bear the mark will die. Strange dark years in your body, on your body, something. 
Caused worlds by curses or unexpected contact with yours. Said to head heralds your upcoming death. Seems like that I have the same scar now. It's a goal. Could you imagine? I blanked out for some reason after I noticed the scar. Next, I know I'm in front of a strange building called Kujo Mansion. There I find the corpse of victim of the mark, one Sire Kujo, as well as a talking doll. Two more mark bearers are added to our number. We decide to uncover the corpse of the mark. Do that, we'll investigate a ghost story. Rubens behind a ghost story, uh, uh, ghost story whispered throughout his city's school says that when you look into a specific mirror, a strange child appears. Rumors say you must never answer yes to any ghost question. And for some reason, he hates adults. Find out if the rumors are true, we head to the abandoned school, where Moe receives our mark. Moe Watanabe. A high school girl who loves the occult. She got the mark at H Elementary and came to Kujo Mansion seeking help from Sire Kujo, a medium. She's quirky, but always energetic and cheerful. She marches to the beat of her own girl. You can see her, the expression changes. Each character... Actor only has two expressions. There you go. Default expression and their kind of uh, expression. The sequel doesn't have as many characters, and I guess that made it so that they could give a little bit more variety in the emotion they display on their face in the sequel. Tsukasa Yoshida, a young boy from a prestigious private school. His wealthy upbringing makes him polite and good at goodness. But he can be insufferable at times. He's in danger. His true ego, physical, self centered nature peaks through. Wait for it. Yeah, look at that face. <laughs> Apparently, he was, originally his character was gonna be much darker and more of a bully, which explains the crazy eyes there, but he's not like that in the final version here. But you know, that description of him being like, you know, self centered and you know, all that. I've never actually, I mean, I have gone to the school with him, and it didn't seem like he'd be like, you know, a liability. Because, I mean, when I, you know, uh, went through, because there's a trophy for, like, a character dying in each chapter, I think. So, you know, I had to go back and do that, and I went with Moe for that. But I think you can also choose Sugasa as well. So, you know, considering that, you know, there's going to be, like, a bit of time in between record sessions. I'm going to record this part after the first part. I'm only recording two parts at a given, any given time because it takes up too much hard drive space. But, you know, maybe you viewers can decide. Who do you want to see die? <laughs> Who would you rather die? Moe. Osagasa. Because at the end of the chapter, I'm going to, uh, you know, make a separate save file so that you can have one save file where a character dies in each chapter, and, you know, the main one where everyone meets, essentially. So, I might leave it up to you, otherwise, I'll be holding no way. Because, I don't know. Feels like. Ah. Uh, like, if things were going to play out, well, I don't know. I'll let you views decide, though. Do you want the high school to die, or the elementary school to die? It's just like, who would you prefer to die in this messed up scenario? Please head to H Elementary and investigate, honey. Choose well to bring Lady Moe or Lord Sukasa. A large group will increase the odds of you being detected by spirits. And do not waste time, daughter, like you're doing now. It is possibly unless the contact may hasten in your thanks of the mark. Only engage when absolutely necessary. Keep contact with others to a minimum. You know, where does he hear that he's like, so, not talk here ever? No. That's not what she means. You can, you can talk here as much as you want. Doesn't really affect anything. Let's go. First, we have to go to H Elementary. Mary says we're free to use the car in the garage. It's not a car, it's the mystery machine. The garage is detached from the mansion. The vintage mumble van and bicycles only accent the elegant interior. 
Thank God for careless people. The car keys was left on the table. Time to go. Ah, uh, hey. Going to Mary, you lost a bunch of your memories, right? You know, the funny thing is, you know, you could basically take one kind of, well, hmm, nah, hmm. I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah, I'll, I'll mention that when we get to the end of the chapter. Well, I wouldn't even need to, because it probably would have proven my point. Doesn't matter, you lost a bunch of memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks at me suspiciously. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I think. And we'll come back when I take the wheel. You know, you could have just been an adult that never learned how to drive. Not everyone learns how to drive, after all. I'm not as good as myself. But aren't you missing your license? Cup finders will have more to worry about than any ego. He's right about that. But lions are on the line, so we don't have much of a choice. Once the box gone, I'll remember. Then I'll ha I just have them um, reissues. Assuming I ever caught them. Uh, now I'm even more worried. Just drive safe, okay? Let's go. Now there is actually one chapter in this uh, game where, you know, the character is that can die is just one character. So, you know. So, like, I'm saying, you lose if you want and choose for which character to die in this chapter, but there will be a chapter where you get no choice in the matter because there's only one character that can die. Human bodies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to drive on this. But the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reach, reacted quicker than I expected. It's now easy to guide this monster down the road. But now, what's of what I can no longer do stop filtering to my head? Hey, mister. When my pipes up hesitantly, I probably let the silence go on too far. Couldn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. What's it like to lose your memories? That's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Like, do they all go at once, or do pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but... I have no idea if it's getting worse or better. I don't know what I was like to begin with, so there's nothing like that here. In that sense, rather than the memories vanishing, it's like everything's being paid in place. That's what it feels like. Oh. Sure, I'm mature, mister. You take everything so calm. Conversation dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires of the road. Then thoughts start popping into my head again. I know we have to check out that mirror, but what else should we investigate? What do you think? I'm gonna glance it over. No idea. I can't even remember my own name. How the hell am I supposed to know what we're doing? Ah, uh, please, I'm really counting on you. Think what I do once. I'm talking to a child. I need to show her straight and give her example. That's definitely how I do it. Sat down at the ceiling. The doll in the mansion, Mark Barris. The Mark Spirits. And the mysterious deaths. I feel like I'm going to be buried in the role of the crushing thoughts that keep popping into my head. What, a, uh, what awaits me down this dark road? You know, for some reason I look at those, you know, flowers and I think of like, yeah, a sofa or something. And I don't know why. And I think I do now. <laughs> it's just like contradict itself. It's like. You know, old people, they have, tend to have, like, you know, the kind of flower decor with, you know, like, wallpaper and stuff like that. That's what it's remind me of. It waits me down the stock road. I feel a flutter from the mark on my wrist, like it's trying to go. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can see it. Death is still to me. If that's, hap uh, if that's happening, you isn't the problem anymore. More, how long do I have left? Just 
Uh, you know, several chapters. How much longer is it? I almost yelled, but I managed to swallow it down. I think we're almost there. I mean, did you get directions? Really, it's closer than I thought. Yeah. I don't know where I'm driving. We could end up God knows where. Yeah, that's exactly right. At any time, it's oops. a lot closer than you. Seriously, how does he get there? He doesn't know where he's going. Well, maybe they inform him and give him some directions, because here we are, looming ominously in the moonlight. The school definitely looks abandoned. Quite a number of years, in fact. The walls are stunned. All the windows are broken as well. A big chain is in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Chotto, chotto. Voice acting? The enthusiastic voice came um, from a man in a dark uniform. You know, as I said, very minimum voice acting. And that's another thing. For the price of this, you know, game, you'd think, like, you know, there'd be voice acting. I mean, it's like 30 odd quid. 20 odd quid if you buy the physical version, which is much cheaper, but still, quite pricey. But there is a ch post game, post story chapter in this. That was apparently originally DLC in the Japanese version, but was added into the main game when it got the international release, I guess. And in that chapter, it's not like constant voice acting, but there's a bit more voice acting in that chapter than in any other, you know, point in the game. Must be patrolling the area. Looks like we got caught. This property belongs to the city. No one's allowed inside. Didn't you know? Or are you up to something? We all have two expressions on our faces and nothing more. It's either deep, it's either like, you know, neutral or, oh my god! A bunch of people have been coming here on stairs since it's hot. You aren't one of them, are you? Well, uh, sounded? Well, that's what the rumors are saying anyway. It's a great thing. Oh, and nods in agreement. It is pretty famous after all. God size. Anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't want any trouble on my first shift here. Please. Me, no? Muttering to himself, the guard makes his way into the school. As we watch him leave, Moe leans over and whispers. Damn, there wasn't a guard when I stuck in here before. We better not get caught. Moving around a haunt. Wi-Fi network connection lost. Oh, wasn't kidding. <laughs> Net connection on my laptop is also disconnected. Must be needing a reset then. Use directional buttons to move. This is where the you know gameplay elements come into play. The map shows which way you're facing and where you can go. So as you can see, well, no, you can't see here. It's like you know, he's like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna go on my ship. Don't sneak in. We're gonna totally do that. Pushing open the doors, I head inside. Well, it's so dark. I can't see anything like this. The light doesn't reach inside. We'll just have to use the flashlight. But if we use the flashlight, that guard will find us. Can't do anything about it, I guess. Anyway, that mirror is... I'm pretty sure it's to the right on the staircase. Investigate the haunt. Move the left stick to search the current area. Shine a flashlight on areas of interest and press the X button. Press the sail button ends the search. Use the directional buttons will it'll end the search and move. So yeah, this is where point and click elements come into play. Which is, you know, kind of breaks it up from just being, you know, a straight up digital. That's one of the things that does anyway. Uh, platforms of broken woodens. That's right on front of the shoe rack. They creak when we snap on them. The battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. Do not leave handprints on the mirror on the east staircase, thank you. Independent research presentation, first floor, multi purpose classroom. Come check it out. 
Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror on the uh, eastern uh, staircase is the one I saw. I guess we go there first. Yeah, it's the right. Lost items are kept in storage in the staff room. Please check there if you'll be safe. Ceiling is filthy and the fluorescent lights are broken. They're actually, um. Oh, yeah. I forgot you could feel things in this. I turn over the torn flyer. But I don't find anything in particular. Nothing's there, huh? Looks like it. I wonder. Did it go to the letter of it? Nah, can't do that. There's some stuff you can take with you. Just like rip it off the wall or whatever. Touch the paper. Disintegrates the second my fingers reach it and scatters through the air. Nothing else looks interesting. Can I not do this then? <laughs> yeah. Ceiling is filthy and the fluorescent lights are broken. Not sure there's anything else here. Huh? So we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. Turn on the flashlight to find. Oh, buddy, it's so cute! Was it a school pet? The black rabbit squeaks and runs away. Rushes towards the eastern end of the school. Ah, oh, it ran away. Is it telling us to follow? Ha! Yeah, right. We went towards that and split our black rabbit. I feel like rabbits are kind of a theme of sorts in this series. That it's already got two entries so far, but still, like the second one, you know, it has you know uh, the protagonist. I've noticed has like a mat that has a rabbit on it, and the only other connection to rabbits is uh, a bar that the protagonist aunt runs called the Black Rabbit or something like that. So, you know, they are trying to keep, like, a rabbit theme. It's like, we gotta have a rabbit reference of sorts. It's like something smashed the uh, fluorescent lights. Let's get that uh, shadowed beyond there. Good thing my controller isn't acting up. Because they used to act up a lot with this game, and it would go, like, up all the time, and it was really annoying. So that, you like, screws up your choices. It also makes you go somewhere where you not actually want to go in that direction. At least not yet, kind of. You know, you'd be like, I'm going to investigate this location, then it goes to the next screen because it freaking presses up on something. That's really annoying. I think it might be my right analog stick. It's a band of desk. But then again, it could be L2 in the case of the sequel because L2 also works in that kind of same way in the sequel for whatever reason. But the desk is slightly rusty. Turn the desk around and stick my hand inside. Got holy hard hats. And that that's very useful. Yeah. It's very useless. There's a lot of items you pick up that you think, okay, that's gonna be useful at some point. Or you just wonder when's that gonna come into use, and then it doesn't. It's just there to kind of make you think, I guess. I don't think that hat comes into play at any point. This is so thick on the ceiling that just walking around was a sharp part of this. Also, it's in, you know, these areas where you can you know, save the game. When did I? So, yeah, it was 19. So let's make a new save file. trouble is, you know, if they don't have a list of save file 1, 2, 3, and 4, it makes it very confusing. Also, these maps get confusing sometimes, too. You know, that map it up in the screen showing where we are. Also, the sequel, I guess, because it was only like a year or so in between release, 
so maybe that's why they kept it shorter, but location-wise, you don't really have many screens for explorers in this game. It's locked. Keyhole isn't rusted over. If I had a key, I could open it. A broken window is letting in a piercingly cold wind. Low tiles have peeled off, leaving fair contents. Oh, L2 does work in the same way. Well, never mind then. I'm still wondering what button it is that. Uh, what button it is that keeps screwing me over when I play either this game or especially the sequel, where it seems to happen more frequently. Although it hasn't happened as much when I was uh, playing it last. I don't know why. Just sometimes it screws up, sometimes it doesn't. My door's rusted shut and won't open. Climb the stairs. Well, here we have the mirror that you were talking about. But let's check upstairs first. Climb upstairs for the second floor. I feel something soft squish under my heel. I quickly pick up my foot and shine my light down. Always covered with poisonous snakes. Well, how do you know there? Well, well, yeah, how do you know? How can you tell? Maybe you had the knowledge of what snakes are poisonous and what ones aren't. But, I mean, you've got amnesia. How would you remember that specific detail? No, it lets out something close to a shriek. I can't see that. Your snakes! We decided to go back to the lab. It's like, screw that. Second floor, off limits. This is it. It's the mirror I saw last time, I'm sure of it. Huh. Just then, a dull pain runs through my wrist. Like something is biting into my skin. To distract myself from the pain, I keep talking with Moe. It certainly looks normal. Yeah, what should we do? Silently face the mirror, bring my face up to it to peer into its cloudy surface. I expected I can't make anything else. What I see is my own shadow reflected as a vague shadowy lump. My shadow sways in the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. I figured the shadow moved because I had. But the next time the shadow moves, a cold shiver runs down my spine. That's not my shadow. Something is in the mirror! Moe yelps and steps back. Well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There really is something in there. Every muscle in my body locks. I try to look away, but I can't even close my eyes. Figures and mouth twists. I don't I don't want to look, but I can't even close my eyes. It opens its mouth. An odd voice pierces my ears. Live And I pity you. Now. Kinda weird, isn't it? It's like, when someone asks you if they're pretty, you're like, no. And that's the correct answer. But I only had that red stuff. I can't see you. Are you grown? I'm not gonna demonstrate every time you can die here, so... I'm... Oh, there we go. There's the example. No! No! I I just said I'm not gonna show him get it wrong. And... I chinked him, man. That, that right there, the grinning cry is cold as ice echoes from the other side of the mirror. This is what I've been alluding to. This controller is dodgy, I don't know why. I have no problem playing any other games, but for whatever reason, this game and its sequel, it just goes bleh, 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 up, 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 and it's definitely up and not down because it never goes down; it only goes up. 
So it's either L2 or the right analog stick. You can't. I thought at first it could be the D-pad, but then I like uh, noticed if you get the uh, like this L2 does that, D-pad does that. And when it starts, you know, glitching out and you know going like that, it does that basically rather than at that speed. So it's either the analog stick here or L2, which only goes up. It's so one of the two. And because L2 actually pauses the game in the sequel, I'm going to assume the right analog stick may be a bit faulty. Maybe it's really sensitive in this game for some reason. I don't know. Running cry as cold as ice out. My heart struggles valiantly to keep beating. Then all I know is an unending silence. Yeah, you don't get any quality death scenes here for game overs like that, unfortunately. You don't get anything like fancy. I face forward and silently wipe the grey mirror with my hand. Let's get through that now, because we're already done. No! Now, when it starts glitching out like that, it's gonna be a real pain in the ass. In the very last location you visit in the game, because it's a really big, wide spread. Forces you to move forward when you're just exploring. It's annoying. I'm just the tallest in my class. You know, some kids are like six foot tall these days. You know, but actually, it wouldn't be too odd. Like, yeah, I'm a teenager. That's you know, tall as shit. What else? Big people aren't allowed in school. Only short people are allowed. <laughs> Suddenly the mirror cracks. No more big people here. I'd be screwed then. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I'd be screwed in two ways, you know, I'm tall, and I'm not a kid, so I'd be doubly fucked. I mean, our protagonist here, Yashiki, is middle-aged, he seems like he's fairly tall as well, and so yeah, he, he'd, be, he'd be fucked, if not for, you know, being like, oh, I'm just tallest in my class, figured you could be this. Survive. Scream echoes from the other side of the school. Now it's interesting because I don't have my fan on. I'm hearing this more clear than I did when I originally played this. Moe sinks to the floor. They gasp in panic disbelief for a while. You must say him. What was that? That was probably an ego. I couldn't say it. The words stick in, sticks in my throat. My mouth is completely dry. I can't believe this. I thought I wanted to see a ghost, but this wasn't that clearly. No, it seems to shake the encounter off in the tentacle. Anahiko's words swirl around in my head. The situation has done a complete reverse from where we were just moments ago. I can't believe I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Uh, oh, anyway, uh, that scream was that. God, we met outside. I doubt there's anyone else here. You might have seen something wherever he is, too. It sounded like it came from far away, at least down the hallway. That would be to the other side of the school. Yeah, let's go look for him. But if he screamed like that, something might have happened to him. Right as I respond, I hear someone whispering my ear. Purify with red. I look in the direction of the voice, but all I see is darkness. Mister? No, it's nothing. 
Let's go. New info was added to the spirit file. I think to the boy in a minute. I might as well have a look at it. Stuart's black rabbit appears in front of us out of nowhere. It's funny, but we've encountered so many strange things already. And an odd bunny doesn't face me at all. That, I mean... Though this paralyzing dread might be a bit concerning. Anyway, first we have to find that mirror. How do you get a boy in the mirror? Like the rumor said, a ghostly boy appears. We answered some of his questions, and when the mirror broke and he vanished, no more big people here, he said, like he was chasing something. Then we heard a horrible scream. Came from the opposite end of the school. It sounded familiar. Mysterious mysteries didn't end there. I heard a whisper in my ear that said, Purify with red. What was that evil voice? Maybe everything that's going on is making me go crazy. Regardless, first we need to find the cause for that scream. Well, oh, wait. I should. Damn it. Poison the snakes cover the hallway before I try to keep going. We decide to go back to landing. At least it doesn't lead to a game over. It's like, and then you die because you went to the snakes like complete idiots. You gotta click on this to go downstairs. Or maybe it's because I was pressing the wrong button on the D-bat. <coughs> what was that? A good cry breaks the silence. I guess it's a pro sitting inside. Hello. <laughs> it's just a way for them to be like, hey, let's draw your attention to your spooky ghost stuff going on. Now, interestingly, if you approach this screen from the other side from down here, you'll actually see something on the wall. Locked door. He always isn't rusted over. If I had a key, I could open it. The rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and down. Nothing else. Light on the ceiling are silent and dark without power. Hmm. There are nonsensical scribbles on the blackboard. What do they say? I can see something stuck deep inside. Take my hand up uh, my arm in, but the hole gets narrower. The feel I go. I can't reach what's inside. It's time to finally use a tool. Take the ladder opener in the hole and scrape up the item that was stuck inside. Got a worn out talisman. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel warmth flow through. Yeah, this is what restores soul power. You don't get this in the sequel. I guess they were just like, nah. I'm surprised, honestly, that it's not a trophy related to finding all these. Kind of a missed opportunity. I mean, it probably annoys some people. But I, I don't want to have to look everywhere for these damn talismans. One of talisman crumbles silently in my hand. Oh, yeah. The more soap I have, the easier it will be to survive the dead of Yep. Again, as I mentioned, I came across this game via watching Man with Badass Hero play it. And he did significantly better at it, this game than I did, because I failed on more than one occasion. Well, obviously. While he, like, got through each, you know, chapter and got the good end to the chapter first time, I, on several occasions, got the bad ends for the chapters because I didn't know what to do. But yeah, one thing that I can say that I did more than he did is finding more talismans. Because when I watched through it, his let's play, he didn't find some of the talismans I found. So that's something to be proud of. <laughs> it's a desk like you'd find out any school. What surprised me is it doesn't look very well. I guess that goes to show how durable school desks are. Sit my hand inside and feel something. Feel around a while. I got a plastic bottle. There's nothing in the bottle. 
It's gonna be useful though. Well, it might come in handy. Just so if they're gonna see them that just walking around and causing sharp hobbles. Nothing else. I hear a noise like something slamming against it. It is someone inside. Is it the birds? I shine the flashlight on the door. Ah! Out of nowhere, the door bursts open and something comes down. Yeah! Lurch shoots and falls down. Recognize this flare. Some kind of plant cover type of space. No doubt about it. It's that guy. What the hell happens? I'm deleting my face! It hurts. What's going on? Ah. 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 Oh, it sits on the floor, stunned. That was kind of over the top. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of over the top voice acting him as well. You know, the guard's obviously fucked there. And I will say this now. That guard, most consistent character to have voice acting in this game. He wasn't there long. He didn't last very long, but you know, compared to every other character, he has significantly more voice acting. Not, like, in the amount of lines. But in how many of his lines were voice acting compared to every other character? God suddenly rushes towards the entrance. So long, God, we hardly knew you. And then silence forms once more. The only sound left is that of our shaky. Once we catch our breaths, we'll take Mo's hand and help us. The herbs have calmed down, but that definitely left an unsettled impression. Some terrible looks here. You can't just sit around. I, I felt like I was paralyzed. Okay now. But Mr. That guy. Who stares at the door. I wonder if Hanahiko did that. And I don't know if you noticed, but I got the feeling Sung was standing behind me. There's really no good way to respond to that. So I see this man. What else could I do? No point in coming here if we're just going to stand here thinking. We don't uncover the secret before it comes to us. Why don't we check out the south? I technically avoid answering those questions. We got to run out of here. Something you might be inside. Some secret that I'd hunt uh, Yeah, you're right. Let's just be careful, okay? I covered my wrist with my palm, making sure my way back up. The moment I had put my hand on the knob, the mark burned my skin, pulsing along with my beating heart. The info was out of the church file. Plan to find God. The rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor golden down. The broken window is letting in a piercing cold window. Of wind, I mean. <laughs> The staff room is chaos. The furniture is appended and the walls are. Is there a fire here or something? There are black scorch marks everywhere. Phew. No, oh, looks relieved as they come out from behind me. Whoa, it's totally empty. Anyway, let's look around. Let's look in the memo and then save and call it a day for recording. The guard we met at the school gate we was the was the one who screamed. Out of the staff room covered in growing plants of all things, and the pain was driving him mad. Did Spirit do this? It must have been high he go, which means the side of the staff room is. But we have to keep going. We have to save the game. So that I'll do for this, you know, first record session. I shall see you next time, viewers. See you next time.